Monster, The Attack on Titan, X Meet Listener Fanfic, by Mocha Maki. Chapter 46 You all watched as Reiner climbed his way up the wall. Your mind was racing. Bertholdt was definitely in one of those barrels. You were sure of it. But you were also worried about what was in the other barrels. Explosives, maybe? You thought, which didn't set well with you. But your mind replayed what Reiner called you. Ada? Who's Ada? Why? Why would he call you that? Your name! We... Armin began to say. But his words were cut off as the ape-like titan let out a loud roar and brought its fist down in a loud boom. There, you could see small two to three meter titans running toward your direction. Shit! Everyone, go! And stick to the plan! Erwin ordered. You all dispersed, and you and Armin went with Aaron and the others, which would be handling Reiner. You were given thunder spikes, as Hanje called them, to blast through Reiner's armor, since your blades couldn't work on him. Your name... I think it's best to keep your hood on for now. We don't know if Reiner and Bertholdt plan on taking you as well, so it's best to stay hidden for now, Armin said. He's right. If Reiner didn't get a chance to kill you, he might as well plan something else. He pulled your hood over your head and watched Aaron transform and lead Reiner deeper into town. He's taking the bait, probably because he thinks we're planning something. You continued to watch as the two intelligent titans circled around each other, preparing to fight. You gulped and stared worriedly. Please be careful, Aaron, you thought. More like, don't try to get yourself knocked over again. Then, they began to battle it out. Aaron was surprisingly holding his ground and landing a few nice hits. He has been training for months now, so you put a little faith in him. Although things were bad... Your grandparents taught you one thing that stuck with you. Always try to be optimistic, even when things don't seem to be going okay. Always look for hope. That will allow even the worst of situations to come out good, your grandma told you. But both of you knew that wasn't true. In a world like this, even the hope ends the results you didn't want to get. But in a time like this, you listen to your grandmother's words. You can do it, Aaron. Don't give up. God, that was embarrassing. But at least it's keeping you sane in a time like this. He made it far into breaking through Reiner's armor. Now, all he needs to do is hold Reiner back long enough so you can all move on to the next part of the plan. You looked at the spikes you were carrying, remembering Hanjay's words as they introduced them. They were so loud when they got launched, but really impressive, you thought. The loud roars of the two titans brought you back to reality as Aaron managed to throw Reiner off of him, giving you an opening. You followed Hanje as you zipped towards Reiner, Mikasa following behind you. Nice one, Aaron. The three of you zipped towards Reiner until you were able to get a perfect angle to shoot the spear towards his face. Hanje and Mikasa launched their spears towards both of his eyes while you aimed at his forehead. That's what you get for slicing my arm off, you overgrown armored turd. You watched as his face exploded and fallen back a bit. The others then zipped through and fired their thunder spears at the back of Reiner's neck, leaving his nape exposed. Do it again! You guys have another thunder spike! Use it to end this! Hanje yelled. Your eyes widened. Really? End Reiner? Right here? Right now? Just like that? In that moment, you didn't want to follow through with killing him. Then you thought back to that dream you had with Marco in it. There are enemies in the wall that you cannot trust. Right. They killed Marco. They caused all of this. Even if it wasn't their choice, they still followed through and did it. And Reiner. He tried to kill you just moments ago. You gripped the thunder spike in your hand. You didn't care anymore. They sure as hell didn't spare Marco's life. So why would you spare his? I made up my mind. This bastard deserves to die! You all zipped back up towards Reiner and fired all out thunder spikes at the same time towards his back. He let out a loud roar of pain as steam erupted from his neck. The smoke began to clear and everything went quiet. Reiner stood on his knees, looking completely undefeated. You all watched Reiner's unmoving body, the tension beginning to subside. We did it! 
someone cheered. Everyone began to cheer at seemingly undefeated Ryder, but you were still tense. No, that was too easy. Ryder's not like that. Knowing him, he might pull off one more final resort, he thought. Not even a few minutes later, Ryder let out a loud roar, making you cover your ears. Wait, that roar. It sounds like a call for a sign or signal. Could that mean... Your eyes widened in realization and horror. You noticed something flying in the air. A familiar scent was caught in your senses. Oh no. That call was for Berthold. You looked towards Armin, who was looking back at you. He was thinking the same thing. He nodded at you quickly. Hanjay, wait! We need to fall back for now. See that barrel? Your name senses Berthold inside. He said while pointing up in the air. If he transforms, we're done for. The barrel was hurtling fast toward you all. You were quick to zip away, along with the others following close behind. You noticed Berthold going to land. You began to panic. Damn it! We won't make it in time! You thought. The last time Berthold transformed, a massive explosion happened around him. Even at this point, you'll all get caught in the blast. Wait. Huh? Berthold exited the barrel and flew towards Reiner. What was he doing? You all stopped far away from Reiner's body, but not too far so you wouldn't see his smoke from afar. You landed on Aaron's shoulder and watched smoke evaporate from the air. Berthold came flying towards you. He was mad. Wait, I'm going to try to negotiate with him, Armin said before zipping towards him. Armin, I don't think that's a good idea. You wanted to follow after him to keep him safe, but didn't want Berthold noticing. You'll keep watch from afar, and if he tries anything, you'll attack. We don't have to fight! We can talk this over! Armin, what are you doing? If I agree to talk, will you all be willing to lay down and die? Bertholdt yelled back. We only want two simple things. Aaron Jaeger, and your name. Along with the death of everyone in the walls. That's the harsh truth of our situation. Understand? All of your fates have been decided. What? And who decided that? Armin yelled back. I did! I decided your life should end here and now. Armin stayed quiet for a moment. That's a real shame, Berthold. You see, I was hoping I could finally stop hearing Annie scream. The atmosphere became tense from here. Her face paled. What is he doing? He knows damn well not to mention Annie in front of Berthold. There's only one person who can save her from the savages of the military police, and that's you. If you don't, she'll be fed to the pigs. Fine by me, Berthold said. Your eyes widened. He grew past that. Uh-oh. Mikasa was quick to spring into action. Let them feed Annie to the pigs. If they actually have her, that is. At this point, Armin and Berthold were far enough for you to not hear their conversation. You were growing nervous. You felt Aaron try to move to intervene, but Jean was quick to stop him, knowing Aaron doesn't have a slim chance of beating him. Armin, please get away from him. Mikasa attacked fast, but Berthold knew better. Mikasa was only able to slice at him. Oh no, he's going to transform. You watched as Berthold zipped away and you began to take cover. And with that, a large explosion was seen. You gripped onto Aaron's hair and covered your eyes from the flame. Aaron was quick to hide behind a building while the rest of you held onto him to not get blown away. The wind finally dispersed. You were all okay. You didn't know about Armin and Mikasa. Were they all right? You heard the sounds of ODM approaching. Mikasa and Armin came back. Ah. You sighed in relief. They were okay. Where's Hanjay squad? Jean asked. They both paused. They were right underneath the blast zone. Oh no. So they're all... Hanjay! No! You all looked forward to see the now-transformed Berthold from afar away. You guys were in deep shit now. Knowing that retreating is not a good idea for your suppliers outside the walls, your only option is to defeat Berthold, right here and right now. Which is a problem, because he has quite a few advantages against you all. Come on! Armin, we're awaiting your orders. 
Connie pursued as the area around you began to get destroyed. Armin didn't say anything, and his face clearly said he was panicked. Everyone looked at him expectantly, but you noticed that even he didn't know what to do. But even if you wanted to help, wanted to talk to them, you don't know what to do either. I hope you weebs enjoyed Chapter 46 of Monster, the Attack on Titan X-Mute Listener series by Mokamaki. If you want to continue reading the original series, please visit the original link in the description below the video. We should be getting back on a weekly Monday upload for Monster, so stay tuned. Please subscribe if you haven't already, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and leave a comment down below. Who's your least favorite character from Attack on Titan? Let me know. Anyways, that's enough for me. My name is Bazaar, and I'll see you weebs in the next video. Cue the outro. He's bizarre. He's bizarre. He's bizarre. Bizarre steps to his mic to make his little sounds. The weaves jump up and cheer. Hit subscribe and stick around. ASMR most times with Minecraft on the side. Some mod games or Deku there to soothe you when you cry. Go ahead, close your eyes, kick back and put him on, and get even more bizarre. Need a friendly pal to get you through the night? Well, get headphones, take a listen, and maybe hit subscribe. He's bizarre. He's bizarre.